In an increasingly interconnected world, the allure of the air gap remains a powerful siren song for those seeking to safeguard their most sensitive data. Air-gapped systems, entirely isolated from external networks, promise an impenetrable fortress for critical information. These systems, often found in high-security environments like government agencies, financial institutions and military networks, operate under the assumption that physical isolation equates to absolute security. The logic is deceptively simple. If a computer has no physical or wireless connection to the outside world, it cannot be hacked remotely. This principle has long served as a cornerstone of cybersecurity, particularly for systems handling classified data, financial transactions, or critical infrastructure control systems. The air gap, in essence, represents a digital moat, keeping valuable data safe from the prying eyes of malicious actors lurking in the vast expanse of cyberspace. However, as with any fortress, the strength of an air gap lies not in its isolation, but in its ability to withstand persistent and evolving threats. The digital landscape is a dynamic battleground, with attackers constantly seeking new and ingenious ways to penetrate even the most secure systems, and as we delve deeper into the world of cybersecurity, we uncover a stark reality. The air gap, while a formidable barrier, is not entirely impenetrable. Recent years have witnessed a surge in sophisticated attacks targeting air-gapped systems, exploiting subtle vulnerabilities, and leveraging unconventional methods to bridge the physical divide. These attacks, often relying on social engineering, infected devices, or electromagnetic emanations, highlight a critical flaw in the air gap philosophy, human error, and the inherent limitations of physical isolation. Enter Rambo or remotely accessible malware that bridges air gaps, a novel side-channel attack that has sent ripples of concern through the cybersecurity community. This insidious technique underscores the vulnerability of even the most isolated systems, demonstrating that physical separation alone is no longer a guarantee of security. Rambo, like a stealthy predator, exploits an often overlooked aspect of computer systems, the electromagnetic radiation emitted by computer displays. Unlike traditional attacks that rely on network connections or physical access, Rambo leverages a system's own hardware against itself. This attack vector hinges on the fact that computer monitors, particularly older CRT models, emit electromagnetic radiation that carries faint traces of the information being displayed. By capturing and analyzing these electromagnetic emanations, attackers can reconstruct the data displayed on a target computer's screen, effectively bridging the air gap without ever establishing a direct connection. What makes Rambo particularly concerning is its stealthy nature and its ability to circumvent traditional security measures. Since the attack does not rely on network traffic or software vulnerabilities, it can bypass firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and other conventional security mechanisms. This makes Rambo a potent weapon in the arsenal of cybercriminals and nation-state actors seeking to exfiltrate sensitive data from seemingly impenetrable systems. To understand the intricacies of Rambo, imagine a crowded room filled with people speaking different languages. Each conversation represents a different electronic signal within a computer system. A microphone placed in the room would pick up a jumble of sounds, making it difficult to decipher any single conversation. This is analogous to the electromagnetic noise emanating from a computer system. Rambo acts like a sophisticated eavesdropper in this crowded room, equipped with a highly sensitive directional antenna and advanced signal processing techniques. This antenna is tuned to pick up the specific electromagnetic frequencies emitted by the target computer's display. The captured signals, though weak and noisy, contain faint traces of the information being displayed on the screen. These captured signals are then amplified and fed into a software-defined radio receiver, which acts as a translator, converting the electromagnetic waves into a digital format. The digital signal, still a noisy mess, is then passed through a series of filters and algorithms designed to isolate the signal of interest from the background noise. Think of this process as trying to isolate a single conversation in a crowded room. By focusing on specific vocal patterns, accents, or keywords, you can gradually filter out the extraneous noise and hone in on the desired conversation. Similarly, Rambo's signal processing techniques isolate the electromagnetic signals corresponding to the target computer's display, effectively extracting the displayed information from the electromagnetic clutter. While the technical underpinnings of Rambo might seem complex, the practical implications of this attack are alarmingly straightforward. 
Imagine a scenario where a high-ranking government official accesses a classified document on an air-gapped computer. Unbeknownst to the official, a malicious actor has set up a Rambo attack from a nearby location, perhaps a parked car or a neighboring building. As the classified document is displayed on the official screen, the computer's monitor emits faint electromagnetic signals carrying traces of the document's content. Rambo's antenna captures these signals, and the attack software begins its work, meticulously reconstructing the displayed information from the captured emanations. Within a matter of minutes the attacker could potentially obtain a copy of the classified document, all without ever breaching the air gap or raising any alarms. This scenario highlights the potential severity of Rambo attacks, particularly in environments where sensitive data is routinely accessed on air-gapped systems. Financial institutions, research laboratories, military command centers, and critical infrastructure control systems all rely heavily on air-gapped systems to protect their most valuable assets. Rambo's ability to bypass traditional security measures and exfiltrate data wirelessly poses a significant threat to these organizations, potentially compromising national security, financial stability, or even public safety. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips and insights. And let me know in the comments below.